Hey, it's meteorologist Mark Dixon here on the Channel 3 Early Warning Forecast Center. After a cloudy start to our Tuesday, the afternoon will feature a mix of sun and clouds. And with the uh, sun coming out, that's going to help boost temperatures to between, say, 60 and 65. If we see more in the way of sunshine, temperatures could actually go higher than what you see on the map here. But uh, generally speaking, you know, a normal high as of today goes to 60. So we're going to be a little bit above average. Tomorrow looks to be even a bit milder than today. So future cast showing the mix of sun and clouds this afternoon through this evening we'll say partly cloudy overnight and then for tomorrow hump day or Wednesday forecasted some sunshine in the morning then generally speaking I think through the afternoon we'll see a, an increase in cloud cover and as we head toward and past sunset can't rule out an isolated shower again tomorrow several degrees warmer than this afternoon we could hit say 65 to near 70 then for Thursday into Friday we're watching what will be a two day somewhat slow moving coastal storm we've got energy coming at us from the west a storm developing off uh, the Delmarva Peninsula just to the south of Long Island. So this is going to be the culprit for wet weather starting Thursday morning. The wind will also be intensifying and while it initially will be rain, moderate to even heavy at times as we had Thursday night into Friday morning as temperatures dip into the 30s, especially across the higher terrain of northern Connecticut, we could see a transition over to some snow or snow mixing with the rain. That will be the case even until Friday morning and it will be slow to exit. It won't probably be until after sunset Friday night that the storm system finally begins to exit it and move away from southern New England. So rain is something we could use given that we have deficits from March 1st at around two and a half inches across the state. Uh, so with this upcoming round Thursday to Friday, we could see one to two inches of rain, perhaps some locally higher amounts, especially where you see this uh, bullseye of red that could shift around a little bit. Keep in mind, we're talking about Thursday, Friday, and it's just Tuesday. So generally speaking, one to two inches across Connecticut with some locally higher amounts. And the big question, of course, how much snow could we see? Well, across interior portion of the state on the grass, we could see a coating, but it's really going to be elevation dependent, at least as it looks now. Uh, some accumulation possible in the hills of northeastern Connecticut, but you notice those darker shades of blue throughout Litchfield County and up toward the Berkshires. That's going to be the, uh, the area that could possibly see the most accumulating snow. A little too early to throw numbers on the map. Just want to show you the probability or likelihood of seeing the snow again uh, painted out well here with the European model throughout the elevations of northwest and as well northeastern Connecticut. So on an early morning seven day forecast, we have added the alert to the seven day forecast given this is going to impact the Thursday evening commute, the Friday morning commute. The breeze is also going to be up and temperatures will be cool. So regardless of if we see much in the way of snow whatsoever on Friday, still going to be a raw day with temperatures in the 40s. Some towns may not make it out of the 30s. Fortunately, the timing is on our side for the weekend. Saturday, partial clearing temperatures warm back into the mid and upper 50s for highs. And then by Sunday, back to 60 or better with dry weather and the chance for showers Monday looking pretty slim at this point. Shoreline highs peaking 63 tomorrow, then trending cooler 50s for Thursday, upper 40s Friday, then rebounding again over the upcoming weekend. You're now up to date with the very latest early warning seven day forecast.